A dude trapped inside a suitcase, and Damon wants to pull him out. But then the dude straight up spits out a gold coin from his mouth. Damon mistakenly takes the wrong suitcase at the airport carousel. Devastated from a recent heartbreak, he indulges in eating while watching TV, eventually slumping onto the couch in despair. Suddenly the suitcase moves. He cautiously tears open a small hole, revealing something inside the box indeed speaking. Damon immediately flips the suitcase over, revealing a contorted man lying inside. What the hell, man? He explains that he offended someone, and as punishment, he was stuffed into the box like a lunch, unable to seek help at a hospital to avoid being found. He can only plead with Damon to pull him out. Damon carefully grabs the man's leg, but no matter how hard he pulls, the man remains stuck. The man starts screaming in agony, and miraculously, a gold coin emerges from his mouth. He reveals that he has a strange condition where he produces gold when in pain. Holding the coin, Damon falls into deep contemplation as if a mysterious force is urging him on. What would you do if you had this suitcase. This dude spews gold coins whenever he's in pain. Damon accidentally grabs the wrong suitcase at the airport and brings this guy home. One day, Damon's friends show up at his place. When she sees the man trapped in the box, she initially looks sympathetic and wants to rescue him. But as they tug and pull, and he keeps spitting out even more coins, the three of them start freaking out. And one friend suggests making use of the situation to make some cash. However, Damon insists on freeing the man first. But his friends can't wait any longer. They seal up the suitcase, drag it to the stairs, and kick it down the flight. Seeing the floor covered in coins, all three are stunned. Later on, in their quest for more coins, they come up with various ways to inflict pain on the man. They gradually become rich. One day, in their pursuit of more gold, they resort to using electrical devices on the man. Damon unable to bear it, but his friend is not pleased. He demands Damon to continue shocking the man. The man's mouth becomes like a perpetual gold fountain, and the floor is covered in blood from his tortured body. Damon insists on setting the man free, but his friend adamantly disagrees and flips the switch on the electric device. The dude keeps spewing gold coins like a machine. The two of them go berserk, torturing him relentlessly because only his pain generates more coins. But Damon, despite his conscience still intact, refuses to continue this vile behavior. Just as Damon insists on calling the cops, the woman snatches his phone and smashes it with a hammer. And when Damon questions her, she straight up smacks him on the head with the hammer. Blood gushing out, wobbling and trembling, Damon stumbles away, rolling down the stairs. With no one in their way now, they can go all out. But the man laughter becomes eerie. His his eyes transform into two gleaming golden orbs the size of beans, and his cheeks start turning purple. He roars like a furious beast, and in that moment, a thick smoke emerges from the box, and a devil emerges from it. The two of them are scared out of their minds, but there's nowhere to run. With a mighty roar, the devil hurls both suitcases to the ground. The next day, Damon wakes up in a hospital. Perhaps due to his dwindling trace of goodness, the devil spared him. But those greedy, ignorant individuals could only be locked inside the suitcases, awaiting either mercy or inhumane torment.